heading down to go digging folks and uh, check it out I haven't even got my shovel in the ground and already there's a marble marble number five for this year so far it's just an opaque blue one. Oh, oh there's another one same thing well, awesome numbers five and six <laughs> right on I'll get you back up on if I find anything else still on my way down the hill folks look what I spotted in here another blue marble this is a cat's eye one though. See if we can get a focus on it. Oh, there we go. Found one like that down here a while ago. Okay, so that makes number seven of the year, I think. T-O-H, I think I caught up to you, buddy. And uh, you might be ahead of me by now, though. Digging with Deej, I'm on your uh, tail. <laughs> All right, catch you later. Check this out. I bend down and pick up these false teeth. Check those bad things out there. Right on. And what do I see? I see this here too. Look at that. In, all together. It says a uh, GI. Check it out. Anybody recognize that? Is that a Mason's pin or an Eastern Star or something? That's pretty cool. Right on. We'll keep uh, looking around. Hey folks, I just seen this. I'm still kind of surface hunting here. I picked it up. I thought it was a coin, but it's a little container. I don't know if I can get it open or not. Well, well, yeah, I got it open. I broke the hinge of it. It looks like it's made of brass. I'll take it home and clean it up. Put it with my findings. Catch us all later. Okay, here's my first dug find of the day. Now this looks like a clear bottle, but it's got some embossing on it. It's a screw top as well. Let's see if I can get it focused. No idea what that says. Something shoes maybe? Burma shoes. I don't know. I'll get it cleaned up and get a better look at it. Cool little find. Catch you later. Well, this puppy just rolled out of the bank. Oh, there goes a brick. It's a little milk of magnesia. All embossed. It's a screw top, but still, I like the blue ones. Everybody likes the blue ones. Haven't been finding much for bottles tonight, but uh, that's okay. I like this. I like those three marbles I found too. I'm keeping my eye out for more. I'm on a roll.
All right, we'll get back at you in a bit. Got one. This might be the last bottle of the evening for me. Let's pick it up. I see it's embossed. And uh, let's see what it is. Hmm. Give me a second here. It says King's Ransom Around the World Blended Scotch Whiskey. No embossing on the back. Well, that's pretty neat. You can get a date off it maybe and go from there. Right on. We'll catch you all later, folks. Back at the roundup, got a bunch of vintage finds, but 30s and 40s. That's okay. I'm uh, new to this and it's all learning for me, so this here, conical shaped bottle, I don't know if it was an ink, maybe it was a vinegar, no idea. Something something like that. Milk and magnesia, cube shaped ink. This Burma Shave jar. It's all embossed like that. 1930s. This Kremel hair tonic. It's embossed on both edges there. That's uh, 1940s. I'm gonna grab this pin real quick here. This pin G I A to B L E stands for Grand International Auxiliary Brotherhood of Locomotive Engineers. That's probably from the 40s. That's a neat find. The King's Ransom Scotch Whiskey Bottles. Got two of them. One right after another. Back to back finds. They're probably from the 30s or 40s. And I'm going to say the 30s because of the bubbles and imperfections in the glass. It's really heavy. The bottom's thick on it. The, the uh, two wire cleat. Find a few of these lately. The wires go on the ends here and then something else would go over the back of it and it'd screw together through these holes to keep it tight. The inside of a compass. Three marbles. This uh, north right pen, it's or engraved on the end of it there, it says uh, 1950, it's going to be hard to see probably. Uh, we got the false teeth, and we got a Dominion 300 Savage casing. That's pretty much it folks. Alright, well, thanks for watching everyone. Good luck, happy hunting on your outings, and we'll catch you all on the next one.